our film reviewer Tom has braved the wrath of North Korea this week and been to see the interview. So how was the film that nearly started World War III? Ah uh, yes, the interview, the film that nearly plunged us all into thermonuclear war. Now I do feel that before I review this film I do just quickly need to address some of the controversy surrounding it. I think it's brilliant that we live in a world where you can lampoon these, you know, we make these dictators into monsters but they're not monsters, they're just men and you can laugh at a man, you can't laugh at a monster. The only problem, the film is rubbish, absolute rubbish. Um, I could list, I could write entire dissertations on why this film's bad. It's sexist, it's racist, but worst of all, for a comedy, it's not funny. None of the jokes, none of the jokes landed for me. I didn't laugh once. The thing about this film that I really, 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 really hated was that it's so stank of, of Seth Rogen and James Franco sitting together thinking, we can improvise and we know what we're doing. We're funny guys, we don't need direction. Good comedy comes from strict direction. It's the, it's, it always has. And watching this film, it's just so clear at times they don't know where they're going with it. They'll just go like, um, fart joke? I mean, it's not funny. It, it's never been funny. And I'm sat there watching it and I'm just thinking, this is nearly offensive. How is, the, you know, I, I, I support, the, I support the, them releasing this film. I, all, I really do. But it's just not good. And that's the problem. Now...